Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Party season is underway, and we catch up with Joe Mineo Creative. I also prepare an easy appetizer, marinated goat cheese. But first, let's head out to Miller Microfarm and their over Hasley goats. This is Carrie Miller. She and her husband, Scott, are the owners of Miller Micro Farms. And the micro farm is actually goats. Yep. And I find this a very interesting story, how necessity brought you into the soap and lotion business using goat's milk as the main ingredient. Now, the name of the goats are? Oberhasleys. Oberhasleys, and they are a very specialized goat. They're from Sweden. Yep. And they're pretty rare. Yes, around you know. here, still pretty rare. And the reason you started buying these goats was for a personal reason. Uh, yeah, digestive issues with lactose and milk. Um, and we were told that maybe the possibility of some goat smoke, so did a lot of research and got some goats. So, it, and it doesn't aggravate your stomach at all. You have no, the, none of the issues as when you were drinking cow's milk. Correct. And it tastes, you say? It, one of the specific reasons we chose the Oberhasleys is it tastes like cow's milk. It doesn't have what they consider that goatiness to it. Okay, yeah. So. And so you can make cheeses with it. I Absolutely. mean, for personal use. Yep. This is not for, you know, uh, you don't have a dairy here where you're selling No, that. and it's a little creamier, so it makes great cream soups in the winter. So that was always a good kick too. And then you had so much goat's milk yeah. that you did not know what to do with it. So then you start looking into products. Yes. What? And, and I mean, the lotions, everything it smells and feels so good. I love the texture of the goat milk lotion. And what kind of research did you do to learn about that? Honestly, a lot. We did a lot of reading. We did a lot of testing and trying. It took us about a year to get a formula that we both agreed on. Uh huh. Um, it was a long process. Pretty now much. you don't do anything to the goat's milk when you add it to the soaps. Nope. And nor to the lotions. Uh, to the lotion, we um, pasteurize our milk for the lotions. Okay. And then you really look for the high level of essential oils. Yes. And what are the other binders in, in, in your lotion? Um, in our lotions, we use coconut oil, sweet almond oil, um, avocado oil, and then shea butter. And I think that's about it. Emulsifying wax. I mean, and I, I just think it's really, really clever. And they don't have anything that is No unnatural. chemicals. No chemicals. No chemicals. And here's another great thing that I really love about these products. I was like, oh, these are such cute bags. Is this how you sell your soap? Now tell me about this bag and how it's used. Okay, these are called muslin bags. And you can leave the soap right in them, use them to exfoliate, and then you can actually hang them right up and your soap will dry quicker and it'll last twice as long because of it being a soft soap compared to a hard process soap. And I. Isn't that clever? So then you don't need the, the extra sponge, you don't need the extra washcloth, and you just use that and it makes it last that much longer. Yeah, and one other great thing with our soap, you can use it for your hair, you can use it on your face, and you can use it to shave. Well, you have a lovely complexion, and your <laughs> hair is lovely, and is this all due to... That's all we use. The Miller Micro yep. Farm The only products. choice we make is who gets to pick out the next bar set. And then what are some of your favorite scents that you, I, I see you have pumpkin getting ready to go. because Yeah, the falls the fall. are upon us. Um, it's a little too hot to even think about those ones right now. Um, I would say my favorite is the oatmeal, milk, and honey. And that's probably one of our best sellers. And then um, the lemongrass. Oh, I yeah. absolutely love the lemongrass. I mean, the cucumber melon and the mango papaya, they're all great. But if I had to pick one, it'd probably be the lemongrass for me. And most of your sales are really done word of mouth through your website. Yes. Because you're out here in Kidsman, and let me tell you, you're we're in the middle far of off the beaten path for me. <laughs> I'm driving and driving. I didn't think I'd ever get here. 
But so, and, and that is going really well, huh? Your it website. is. Um, we're actually starting to see people from further and further away ordering. Um, we have a new gentleman that's ordering from our men's line about every three weeks from Johnstown, PA. Well, that's great. And then are you in any of the local stores? Um, we are in Miller's Country Store in Cockerton, Pennsylvania. And then there is a small yoga studio in Hermitage that carries very select products. Hi there. So Mabel needs milk. Appa. Are you kidding me? They're that obedient? I've got to tell you, the Millers, really, you guys are perfect farmers. You respect your animals. They are so, it's so clean here. You can't even believe you're standing in a barn. And the chickens, and I mean, I just fall, those goats are beautiful. Yeah. You really love them, don't you? Yes, I do. I mean, you guys are really, really responsible farmers. And I mean, it's really nice to see. And then you make those beautiful products. And then this one has a little cross beak and he lays blue and green eggs, scissor beak. I gotta take a picture of you. And really the best way to get these products. <laughs> oh, that's right. Listen to cross beak. Freaked me out, man. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't so happy with the way Scott was holding him. Go to millermicrofarm.com and you're gonna find all those products. You guys, this has been awesome. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Well, we are here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery and I am with Rude the Dude. And let me tell you, there is no place I'd rather be than this patio. It is beautiful. Sunday fun day is every day. <laughs> well, yeah, Casey, winter's almost over. So the Thank patio you. season is coming. Uh, we have one of the biggest patios in Boardman. Uh, every Saturday, live entertainment. Other special events that we do, we, saw, we have a car cruise. Every Wednesday, taking up the whole lot. It's a great event, a lot of beautiful cars. Our farm to table menu. We still support local, local ingredients, local products, meat and cheese local. Uh, we also have our happy hour, Monday through Friday, half off all 41 craft beers on tap. And a lot of local yeah. beers and tons there of local too. beer, tons of local beers. But it's just a great time, great time to come out and enjoy Magic Tree. The living is easy at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Cheers. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Ruley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. r &S Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at r &S Paint. Hi, I'm Tim Crow, owner of Crow's Cabinets, and this is my dad, Paul, who started the company over 40 years ago. At Crow's Cabinets, we build and install the perfect cabinets for your home or business. 
We design complete kitchens, bathrooms, garages, and more. If you can dream it, we can build it. Well, today I have got an excellent appetizer that is so easy, so delicious, and it's gonna look like you went through all kind of trouble. But it is delicious. I love goat cheese. I love the creaminess of it, the earthy flavor, and you know, you just don't wanna serve a log of goat cheese. And this is softened goat cheese with a flavorful infused oil with a lot of different spices, of course garlic, and then with a toasted baguette, when you go to your next party or you have people over, this is so easy to make and it will wow them. I just made it last week for a party and let me tell you, they were impressed. So let's get this going. I mean, this is quick. In no time, you're gonna have this ready to go and you're gonna enjoy it and you can thank me later for the recipe for my marinated goat cheese. For this recipe, you'll need eight ounces of goat cheese, one teaspoon of whole allspice, one teaspoon of coriander seeds, one half teaspoon of anise seeds, four strips of lemon zest, two cinnamon sticks, five garlic cloves chopped, one half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, one half cup of extra virgin olive oil, and one baguette sliced. Well, the first thing I do is I broke up an eight ounce log of goat cheese. And I just put it in little single serving ball sizes and put them in a shallow dish. I'm just using a really pretty, you know, glass pie plate. But if you have anything just shallow enough and around this size, that will work perfectly. So we'll let this sit at room temperature. Then I slice the baguette, about quarter, half inch, and I did not treat this with oil or anything. I have a preheated oven of 425, and I'm gonna put them in there to toast eight to 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on it so it won't burn. So I'll stick that in the oven. Before we go to the stove to warm the infused oil, I wanna release the flavors of the coriander seeds and the allspice. So what I'm going to do, if you have a, mortar pestle, that's the perfect time to use it. But you can also use the flat side of your chef's knife and just bear down and break these up. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. And if it looks like the allspice is still a little big, just, you know, crack it up with the knife. You just want to release the flavors. It makes a little bit of a mess. I probably should have done this in a bowl. But that's all you want to do is just release the flavors. All right. So that looks pretty good. It really smells good already. There we go. That looks good. All right. So now what I'll do is add all of this into the pan. Half cup of oil. Extra virgin olive oil because you are going to be eating it. The chopped garlic cloves. These cinnamon sticks. That adds a nice warmth. Got to have the heat with the crushed red pepper, the lime zest, and last but not least, the anise. Now I will pick these up with the knife, transfer them. So now what we're gonna do is head over to the stove, put this on medium. We don't want it to burn. We're just going to cook it until the garlic is golden. Keep an eye on this. I do have this on medium low because you do not want burnt garlic. That will ruin this dish. And you don't want it to get too gold. You want it to be very, very light brown. But just keep an eye on it and swirl it around and make sure you get all these wonderful flavors together. Look at that. Beautiful, it smells so fragrant. And this is going to be a great addition to the goat cheese and it makes it so nice and easy to spread and it's just an excellent appetizer. This is about the golden color I'm talking about because at this point it can turn very quickly in the oil and you just wanna make sure it's soft if you get a piece of the garlic. So you can see the oil is still hot and it continues to cook even when I take it off of the stove and now we just pour all of this goodness over the cheese. 
Now the oil has been evenly distributed over the goat cheese and just sprinkle it with a little bit of sea salt and then let it sit for about a half hour so everything goes to room temperature. And don't forget to keep an eye on the stove with these baguettes. I toasted mine for almost 10 minutes, but my mom's is much more efficient here at the Casey Malone kitchen. And these were ready to go in about six minutes. Creamy, flavorful, really unexpected flavors with the cinnamon and the allspice. Mm, that is really good. That is a flavorful appetizer. Now, what do I recommend? How about a Spanish rosé? This is a Caravacas from the Rioja region. It's made with Tempranillo and with the Grenache grapes. Really pretty salmon color. Mm. Refreshing, really cuts through the goat cheese and these heavy spices. I'm telling you, you will be asked to make this again and again. And look how easy it is. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com and you will get the recipe for my marinated goat cheese. Enjoy. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo and I'm the owner of Catullo Primates. My grandfather started the business in 1962 I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. There's a new standard in assisted living. One that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaking because they're going to wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not going to wear it forever, they're going to pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime, and we want to make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. Hi, I'm Tim Crow, owner of Crow's Cabinets, and this is my dad, Paul, who started the company over 40 years ago. At Crow's Cabinets, we build and install the perfect cabinets for your home or business. We design complete kitchens, bathrooms, garages, and more. If you can dream it, we can build it. Well, finally, I get to sit down with Joe Minio from Joe Minio Creative and discuss this book. It's my party. Yep. It is. A gorgeous book. Thank you so much. I have enjoyed it so <laughs> much. You feel like you're crashing these parties. You yeah, really yeah, do. That, oh, I like that. I you like know, that. you're yeah, crashing it. I mean, the details that you give and the background and, you know, the elements that you use for each one, you really do feel like you're almost in attendance. That's wonderful. You Glad know, to hear so that. I crashed it. Now, have you ever crashed a party? 
I don't think I have. I, you know, I, I just, you know, I don't think ever, I really in have. my younger days, well, you know, according to this book, the Rust Belt really knows how to party. Yes, yes. You know, that's people true. might make fun of our area between Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Youngstown, but there's a lot of party people. There really is. There really is. You know, um, we, some, we just opened up our office in Pittsburgh and, um, you know, that is a extremely party town, believe it or not. We have found out that, you know, throughout the U.S., it's one of the, the largest population of party goers and uh, lots of events are happening. And, you know, you find that in our area, too. You know, from small to large, we do do a lot of entertaining in Youngstown. What are the most necessary and basic elements for a successful party. Sure. Well, you know, and I think sometimes I'm going to give this answer and some of these answers you might have heard before. Um, one of them would be when you're having any type of event, it's very, very important to be uh, to be welcomed by the host. But more than that, get a drink in their hand, right? Okay. Get a drink in the guest's hand as quick as possible, no matter if it's alcoholic, if it's not alcoholic. You know, it's just about the fact that when you have a drink in your hand, especially when you're entering an event and you're seeing new people or people, friends, there's a little bit of a comfort holding yes. that glass holding, in your yes, hand, isn't yes. there? The it's almost like something fire. to do with yes. your hand, you know? Um, so I think that that's very, very important. Within minutes, you should be offered an hors d'oeuvre or some type of munchie. Yes. It's, it's really setting the tone of what the event is going to be as you go through the night. Putting together a wonderful guest list is extremely important, yes. you know? There's something lovely about inter um, uh, having the same group of friends and family, but introducing new, new people, people that you think personalities. Can yeah. is really great. It's funny because I've put, I've had many parties at my home here in Boardman, and I try to do that, and I've made some really great friendships between other friends that are friends of mine might become friends of yours. Yeah. And that I think is really important because they always remember how they first met. Music. Do you need the music yeah. to set so, the tone? You know, you want to think of your senses. You want to think, think of the five senses. You want it to be a visually beautiful party. Mm -hmm. You want to smell the aroma if it's uh, uh, wonderful fragrant candles in your home or if it's the delicious food that's food. being presented, okay. right? You want to hear sound. You want to hear lovely music, whenever, no matter what it is. Um, if it's soft music, if it's jazz, whatever you're doing, all of those things. And then, of course, you're tasting the food. With all these events, there has got to be a disaster. Oh, yes. Tell me about one, two things that you were so out of your control. Um, our mis well, I just told the story the other day. This was early, early in our, in our business. But I remember, um, and it was not a very large wedding, but we were doing a wedding here in Boardman at the Holiday Inn. And I had built all the flowers. My team and I had everything ready. We put it in the cooler and we were ready to go. And we're like, okay, we'll see you tomorrow. And my business partner at the time was still at the shop. And I had left to go, I think, Pittsburgh or Cleveland to see a show or something. And I got a call from her saying, where are you? And I said, oh, I, I'm about half hour away. I'm on my way to, you know, to the show. And she said, the wedding is tonight. What? The bride you... had called said, and said, where are you? The wedding was on Friday, not on Saturday. Oh my Lord. Now how about that? Whoa. So, yes. So, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Right here, yeah. you have the um, but In models, the body form. The, the body, body form. form. My only question is, in the middle of the table, mm -hmm. Would that block yeah. conversation? That now that's that the only thing I wanted to ask yes. because now I know that it seems that, as you can yeah. see, everything you yep. want a clear view. You know, the, the, the rule really, Casey, is you can fill from the table up 12 inches as much as you'd like, but from 12 to 24, you want to leave that as negative as possible, okay. right? So you can yes. communicate. This particular event, it was a fashion theme. We had 54 tables. Yes. Every single table was designed for the different body form. And then the linen and the table skirt became the dress. I um, see. I custom love chairs. This. Yeah, it was really crazy. So the interesting thing about this is that conversation actually did come up in planning this. And my client said, but you know, you can't quite see across the table. We actually looked into a, a, a an actual um, machine um, that a lift that would be under the table that would make the entire body form raise no off the table at a way. certain time. 
Well, when we got the budget back, and even though this was an extremely high-end event, when we got the budget of what it would cost to make that happen, my client said, it's fine. <laughs> we'll, they'll just won't be able to see across the table. How long did it take you to put this together? Yeah, it took about two years. It was a very long process. Um, and my next book is going to be how to write a book. Uh, you know, you learn a lot, um, but it was, you know, it, we wanted to be so specific um, and trying to get, you know, the publisher to understand what we're looking for and from everything, from every photo that was chosen and how it was laid out to the quality of the paper. Oh, I mean, it's a yeah. really and beautiful you know what's, book. What's kind of fun is if you touch the front of the book, yeah. uh, of that feeling of it, you know, yeah. it almost has like a waxy feel, which I love, and that was very important to me. So it did take time, and um, but you know, we wanted it to be right, so we certainly didn't want to rush it. And you, it, you really did. It's a beautiful coffee table book. The best way to get this is just through your website, yeah, right? Yeah, it really is. I mean, it's on, it's at, you know, Barnes and Noble and .com and it's at Target, Target.com. But really the most cost effective way to get it is to go through JoeMinioCreative.com. We can deliver it, we can ship it to you, whatever's good, um, it, that's probably the best way. Okay, so make sure you pick this up. Somebody on your list. Yeah loves to party and this book is all about the party thank you so thank much you joe so i could much. sit here for three hours <laughs> and go over this the casey malone show is sponsored in part by denise and john york and the debartlow corporation